Hey there, my name is Thilo from PagerShift and today I'll give you a quick tour uh, through the PagerShift platform and yeah, strap in, let's go. First up, if you open the application, uh, what you'll be greeted by is a screen like this. On the left hand side, you can see the menu. It's divided into three different topics, the runtime environment where all the documents that got imported or uploaded um, can be viewed split into the different tasks of overview, separation, classification or extraction and QC. App configuration bit that is only available if you have the necessary permissions where you can configure your own document types, new fields, uh, etc. And a development tab, once again, only accessible to developers to manage your API keys, webhooks and so on. Let's start and jump into runtime documents and the main features of the platform. So first up, what you'll see is our document lists. You can create and add your own tabs on the top here. So for example, if you want to filter all the documents that got uploaded, for example, by document type, uh, you can just go in here and say, for example, that now you only want to see uh, certain types of invoices, you can just go filter and the filter would be immediately applied and if you want to you can save this as a new tab and say okay this is my special invoices save this and now you have filtered your documents so there's a lot of versatility in how you utilize these lists you can also see the name by which it was uploaded how it was uploaded the currently assigned user the document type its status Orange meaning it's waiting for validation, green meaning it's done. The language, if it is used for training or not, when it was uploaded and so on. And most importantly, on the right hand side, obviously the current task that needs to be processed for this document, for example, extraction. So, but let's have a look at the different document tasks in order, starting off with separation. So one of the features of a platform is that you can separate documents. So if you upload them as a batch, you can just have a look. You get a little overview on the right hand side and you can just go and correct separations. For example, merge documents together again or separate them. Correct for rotation, delete pages or delete whole documents. It's a very simple concept, a very simple user interface, um, but it helps a lot to pre-separate your documents if you want to. Automatic separation is obviously supported. You can use barcodes or fixed page or our intelligent machine learning based separation suggestions. After separation, documents are usually classified into the different document types. You can also jump here and we can have a look. So for example, here I got go into this document and say that this now should have been classified as a mutation form because I have one of these document types set up. This here is all fully configurable. So this is just how I set up my system. We have clients with one, two, three document types or two, 300 document types. That's basically always however you want to handle this. I can now click done and it would throw me back into the list view. If you wanna go faster, so if you want to work on a lot more documents in order, there's also the zero mode, which will open up a document. And now you can use your keyboard only and just basically um, quickly classify all these documents. Simple enter would also just classify them. And as you can see, this is a very quick way to validate a lot of documents. All these user interactions uh, that I just did, so classifying the documents are saved on the platform and next time a similar document comes in, the classification will work a lot better. You can also see, for example, here that this document would have been classified with a confidence of 96%. So usually in a production environment, this document would have been straight through process, no human interaction required. It's just I set it up to better showcase classification that every document basically lands in classification. But usually we set a threshold to have uh, most of the work automated. Yeah, that was it. Next time I'll go a little deeper into configuration. So stay tuned. Have a nice one.